to they keep in their house. A roaming reptile turned a London, Ontario man into an impromptu crocodile hunter. This meter long caiman made himself at home in a residential drainage pond. Police and animal control officers spent Sunday looking for the croc that came up empty handed. However, John Stephan was able to nab him after a few minutes of searching. He put up a little bit of a struggle when I grabbed him. He was laying right there within arm's reach. So I just came down, snuck up from behind and grabbed him right behind the head and uh, pulled him up. Animal control eventually arrived to take the croc away. His new home will be with a wildlife custodian. Brian Loist is the curator for the Indian River Reptile Zoo just outside Peterborough, and that's where the crocodile will be taken. He joins us now, and you have been standing there so patiently for the last 15 minutes with this thing in your hands. How does that feel? Thanks for being with us. Oh, it, he's being really well behaved, actually, considering what he's been through. So. Aw, what has he been through? And how did you get involved with this crocodile caper? Well, we're the only accredited reptile facility, so there's not other, any other places to call. So they phoned us, and we drove down to ho hopefully look for him in the pond. But by that time, he was actually caught and then he was brought to the animal control and that's where we picked up this animal. He looks like he's shaking a little bit. Do you think he's been through a tough time these last uh, few days? Well, the, the shaking actually is probably me. Oh. Um, no, he's, he's really cold. They, they're, from, they're from tropical areas, so this, this animal was really, really cold. It wouldn't have lived much longer without everyone's help today. And talk to us about this particular crocodile. I mean, if, if he had been left to wander, could he have hurt someone, or a person, or a pet? Uh, no, at this size, they, they couldn't really hurt anybody unless you were to try to pick it up. So the only one in danger today was the nice gentleman that actually caught the animal. He and, was the only one that could have been bitten. And that man was out for a walk with his dog, wasn't he? And he came across him? Yes, he was. Yep. And from your experience, talk to us about how these reptiles get out there in public. I'm assuming that people take them on as pets and then at some point give up on them. That, that happens a lot, with, sadly enough, with pet reptiles. Um, a very high percentage of people that purchase animals like this in pet stores, once they get a little too large, they don't know what to do with the animals, so sometimes they are, sadly enough, released into the wild like this one. Which, which is not, not good for the animal at all, of course, or anyone involved. How long can they survive out there in the wild? I, I, in, this, in this climate, uh, not very long, because they need a lot higher temperatures. What's not very so long? This animal Days, probably, hours? Um, I don't think it probably would have survived the night. It's going to be fairly cold tonight, so I don't think it would live throughout the night. So we're, we're lucky that we got a hold of it when we did. So, Brian, before you go, what is your advice for people that is considering taking on one of these reptiles as a pet? Do you still think it's a good idea? I don't think it's a good idea at all. The first thing you have to do is look at your local city bylaws. And if you're not allowed to have an animal like this, you definitely shouldn't. And animals like this are not pets. They should be left in the wild. Uh, they're not things that you should try to keep at home. They just get too large and they can be quite dangerous.